Eureka by John Thomas, Volume 1 Chapter 2, Section 4 To the Angel of the Ecclesia Among Thyatirans And to the Angel of the Ecclesia Among Thyatirans write, These things saith the Son of the Deity, having his eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet like to incandescent brass. I have known thy works, and thy love, and service, and faith, and endurance, and that thy works, even the last, are more than the first. But I have a few things against thee, because thou permittest the woman Jezebel, who calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to fornicate and to eat idol sacrifices. And I gave her time that she might heartily turn from her prostitution, but she turned not. Behold, I cast her into a bed, and them committing adultery with her into great tribulation, unless they may have heartily turned from their works. And I will slay her children with death, and all the ecclesias shall know that I am he that searcheth reins and hearts, and I will give to you, to each one, according to your works. But I say to you, and to the rest among the Thyatirans, as many as do not hold this teaching, and to acknowledge not the depths of the Satan as they speak, I will cast upon you no other burden. Moreover, that which ye have, hold fast to the time that I may have come. And he that overcometh, and keepeth my appointments until an end, I will give to him dominion over the nations, and he shall govern them with an iron scepter. As the potter's clay vessels, it is breaking to pieces as also I have received from my Father. And I will give to him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hearken to what the Spirit saith to the Ecclesias. Revelation 2, verses 18 to 29. This writing concerning the things that are affords additional evidence that The angel of the Ecclesia, represented by a star in the right hand of the Spirit, is not an individual teacher or elder, but an order in the Ecclesia, composed of a plurality of persons, many or few. Thus the Spirit addresses the angel in verse 23, Doso humin ekasto, I will give to you to each one, where the word hermin, to you, is plural, and ekasto, to each one, is in the singular number. Hence the sense is, I will give to each one of you, composing the star angel of the ecclesia, according to your works. Topography of Thyatira Thyatira stood 48 miles east of Pergamos. It was a city of Lydia, on the Lycus, a branch of the Hyllus, anciently called Pelopia, but now Akhisar by the Turks, that is, the White Castle, from the great quantity of white marble there abounding. Only one ancient edifice is left standing. The rest, including the clerical bazaars or churches, are so destroyed that no vestiges of them are to be found. The principal inhabitants are Turks, who have eight mosques in Akhizar, while the Greeks, calling themselves Christians, have no edifice indicative of the former preeminence of their mistress, the woman Jezebel, among Thyatirans. So effectively has 
the son of the deity, whose eyes are as a flame of fire, and his feet like to incandescent brass, fulfilled the threatening, saying, Behold, I cast her into a bed, and them committing adultery with her, into great tribulation, and I will slay her children with death. The only vestige of Christianity there is a few ignorant and superstitious Greeks calling themselves by the name Christian, to which they are no more entitled than the Turks. In the inscriptions of these apocalyptic epistles, none of the cities are addressed as if each city were an ecclesia. In the English version, that to the Ephesian saints is inscribed to the angel of the church of Ephesus. This style of address is in accordance with the notions which prevail in the synagogue of the Satan, where a city or a nation are regarded as synonymous with a church. Hence, in the nomenclature of the Satan as they speak, we have the titles the Church of Rome, the Church of England, the Church of Scotland, the Church of Ireland, and so forth. So that all born of the flesh and of the will of man in these places, not avowing themselves dissenters, are regarded and claimed as bona fide members of the church by law established. Established by the law of flesh and blood, which is the devil. But the scriptures recognise no such churches. They contain no epistles addressed to such. These are the several branches of the synagogue of the Satan whose angels are the men constituting the holy orders of the apostasy. The apocalyptic epistles are severally addressed to the angel of the Ephesian ecclesia, the ecclesia of Smyrnians, the ecclesia in Pergamos, the ecclesia among Thyatirans, in Sardis, in Philadelphia, and the ecclesia of Laodiceans. But whether saints of Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, or Laodicea, they were all who held fast the name and denied not the faith of the Spirit, the Ecclesia, or invited ones, in the Deity, the Father, and the Lord Jesus anointed. They boasted not in the ecclesiasticism of their native cities or countries, but in the Lord.